Hi friends, happy Monday. Welcome back to math today. Today for math, we will need from our Envisions workbook, page 341, 342, and then 343. You will also need a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Today for math, we're gonna practice what we always do with our skill practice at the beginning of our lesson, but today I don't have our number line on the board. So when we count, we're just gonna count from memory knowing that we have a number line as a resource to help us sequence our numbers or put them in order, okay? So we're gonna count just like we did before, all the way to 30, doing some different exercises, and then we're gonna count backwards from 30 all the way to zero. But I want you to keep in mind, as we count forward to 30, our numbers get bigger. As we count backwards from 30, our number gets smaller. All right, so are you ready to count? If you're ready, go ahead and stand up. And we're gonna start out pretending we're teapots. So we're gonna pour out some tea as we count. Ready, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna switch sides. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're gonna twist from side to side. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now we're going to wiki wiki rewind and count backwards from 30. Ready? We're going to start at 30 and go to zero. Let's reach up and back down. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Now let's do the sprinkler. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, switch to the other side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Nice job, friends. Kiss your brains. And let's do a roller coaster cheer. Ready? Click, click, click. Woo! Excellent job. Now let's quickly go through our numbers and name what they are. Here we go. 20, 15, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 12, 11, 4, 2, 18, 17, 8, 9, 13, 19. Nice job. All right, are you ready to do some adding again today? Let's take a look at our learning target. We're going to try and make our lesson quicker. Our lessons are getting longer the more that we're learning a new skill. So let's take a look at our learning target. Our learning target says I can add by drawing, counting, and writing an addition sentence. And remember another word for addition sentence is equation. An equation is a math sentence. So when we're adding, we're using our plus sign or addition symbol and our equal sign. Our equal sign tells us what our answer is going to be. So let's sing our adding song to help us what it means to add. Ready? Here we go. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together. Adding means putting groups together to make them bigger than before. When we add, our number gets bigger, except when we add with zero, then our number stays the same. So let's take a look at the example I have on the board here. This is something we've been practicing. And I put it up here to help us remember what steps to take when we're adding. Especially when we're adding with objects on a paper that we can count and mark out. So I have a group of triangles and a group of circles. Let's count and mark out how many triangles we see. I'll mark them out while you help me count. Ready? There are one, two. So on my first line, I'm going to write a two to represent the two triangles. Now, I'm going to add the circles. 
Let's count how many circles are in a group. One, two, three, four. So now I'm gonna write my four to show I have four circles. Now, here's a step that a lot of friends tend to forget. Easy to do, but let's remind ourselves. I have my sentence set up, two add four equals. I wanna know how many shapes there are all together. So to show my work, I'm gonna draw one big circle around both groups. And now I'm showing on paper that I wanna know how many shapes are all together. So now I'm gonna count how many there are and mark them out the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two add four equals six in all, okay? And that is how we make our addition sentence. We're gonna practice the same thing on our solve and share today. So our solve and share says that Daniel sees a group of three fluffy white clouds. Marta sees one gray cloud. How many clouds do they see in all? It tells us they want us to draw a picture to show what's happening and write a matching addition sentence. So how many clouds did it say that Daniel saw? Three. So let's draw three clouds above our first line. Make sure to draw them small enough so you can fit two groups. One, two, three. Okay. Now, let's count and mark them out to make sure we have three. One, two, three, and write our three on the line. How many did Marta see of the gray clouds? Just one, so I'm gonna draw one above the next line, mark it out, and write a one. Now, our words tell us that they wanna know how many Marta and Daniel saw all together. So, the next step is circling both groups and counting out the other way how many there are, one, two, three, four. So three add one equals four, okay? So now we're gonna flip to our guided practice just to look zippity quick at what we're going to do. We're not gonna actually do our guided practice, we're just gonna talk through it. So it says Daniel sees two fish in one bowl and two fish in another bowl. How many fish does he see in all? So it already shows us how he has two fish in one bowl, two in another. So there's one group that has two. Oh, and another group has two. So now he wants to know how many is all together. So just for practice, let's circle both groups and let's just count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, and write a four on the line. So what I meant when I said we're not gonna practice is not the whole problem. Good job. Okay, now let's go ahead and do page 343. Okay, this is a page where I am going to do the first problem with you and then I'm gonna read you the stories for the other three problems to complete on your own. We're not gonna do the back today because this is showing what you've already been doing with your challengers, okay? So let's start with number two. Number two says, Julie sees five stones in one pail and three stones in another pail. How many stones does she see all together? So five stones in one pail, three in another. What's the first thing I do? I'm gonna draw a group of five. Let's draw five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's count and mark them out to make sure we have five. One, two, three, four, five, and write a five on the line. Straight line down. Halfway around, hat on top, five is found, okay? And it says she has three stones in another pail. So let's draw three. One, two, three. Now let's count and mark them out. One, two, three, and write a three on the line. Around the tree, around the tree, okay? So we wanna know how many she has all together. So next we're gonna circle both groups. And let's count and mark them out the other way to see how many there are in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five add three equals eight all together. Okay? Great job. Now you're gonna do the same steps for the rest of these problems with each story I tell you. So there's gonna be a different story for each problem where either you're gonna pause 
after I tell you the story and complete the problem, or you can rewind and do them all at one time, okay? So, for number three, it says, a hen laid two eggs one day and three eggs the next day. How many eggs did she lay all together? So for this one, a hen laid two eggs one day and three the next. How many all together? Okay, now let's go down to number four. Number four story says, Maria threw a baseball five times in one inning and two in the next. How many times did she throw a baseball in all? So five times she threw a baseball in one inning, two times the next inning. How many did she throw all together? Okay, last one. Zach scored two goals during a soccer game, then scored four more during another soccer game. How many did he score all together? So on the last square, you're going to illustrate and write a matching sentence to show Zach scored two goals in one soccer game and four more in the next one. So two and four. Okay? Great job, friends. When you're finished illustrating and writing your matching sentence, make sure to post that to your teacher's Google Classroom and keep up the great work. We're going to continue working on adding this week. Can't wait to see you guys for your next math lesson.